everyone, welcome back to our channel. In our last video, we covered the basics of how to install and use the WAN 2.1 video generator on your local computer. However, we noticed that many of you ran into some issues. So today, we're diving deeper with a new video titled How to Run WAN 2.1 Image to Video Locally. We'll walk you through the installation process again and address the most common problems from the previous video. By the end of this, we hope to have all your questions answered. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Step one, set up the developer environment. First, we need to set up the developer environment by installing Git and .NET 8 SDK. These are essential for running the software smoothly. Head over to the official Git website. We've included all the links you'll need in the video description below. Once you're on the site, click, click here to download to get the version for your operating system. After downloading, double-click the file to install it. Just follow the prompts clicking Next until the installation is complete, then hit Close. Next, click the second link to visit the .NET 8 SKD website. You'll see a table with different versions for various operating systems. Click the one that matches your system. Most commonly, it's the x64 version. Once downloaded, double-click to install it, and again, just follow the prompts until it's done. Step two, install Swarm UI. Now, let's move on to installing Swarm UI. Open the Swarm UI GitHub page. On the right side, you'll see releases. Click on it to find the latest package. Scroll down to the bottom and locate installwindows.bat. Clicking this will start the download. This is a startup script that will automatically use Git to download Swarm UI for you. Once downloaded, move the file to a disk with at least 80 gigabytes of free space. The model files we'll download later are quite large, so avoid installing this on your C drive to prevent your system from running out of space. After moving the file, double-click install windows.bat. A command window will pop up. Don't touch anything, just let it run. It will automatically download the necessary files and launch your default browser, opening the Swarm UI installer page. You can switch the language at the top if needed. Click Agree, then Just Install, and finally, Yes, I'm sure. Install now. Wait for the installation to complete. Once done, go back to the installation folder. You'll see a new Swarm UI folder. Remember this location, we'll need it later. Inside the folder, scroll down to find launchwindows.bat, the startup script, and updatewindows.bat, the update script. If you ever encounter backend errors, running the update script might fix it. Finally, locate the models folder inside the Swarm UI directory. This is where we'll store the model files later. Step three, download WAN 2.1 files. Now let's download the base files for the WAN 2.1 video generator. Click the link in the description to open the Hugging Face page. Here, you'll see four folders containing the necessary files. Clip Vision, this contains the image to video files, 1.26 gigabytes. If you're only interested in text to video, you can skip this. Diffusion Models. This folder has eight model files. The first four, I2V, are for image to video, and the last four, T2V, are for text to video. Depending on your computer's performance, you can choose the appropriate model. For weaker systems, we recommend the FP8 or 1.3B models. For high-end systems, like those with a 4080 or better, you can try more advanced models. For this tutorial, we're using the 720 PBF16 model, which is the best for a image to video text encoders. This folder contains the clip files. You only need to download one, but FB16 offers better quality, though it takes longer to generate. You can download multiple and switch between them if needed. Vi, this folder has just one file. Download it. After downloading, place each file in its corresponding folder inside the Swarm UI slash models directory. The only exception is the text encoders folder, which should go inside the clip folder. Be careful not to mix these up or the software won't work. Finally, download a workflow file to simplify the process. Click the link in the description to find three files, 480p image to video, 720p image to video, and text to video. Download the one you need or all of them. Step four, run Swarm UI. Now let's run Swarm UI. Inside the Swarm UI folder, double-click launchwindows.bat. This will open a browser page. If it doesn't, 
you can copy the link from the command window and paste it into your browser manually. If you downloaded the latest version, a startup program, a Purple B, will be automatically created on the desktop after the installation is complete. Before we start, let's check if the models are installed correctly. Click on Models. At the bottom, you should see two new models listed. If they're there, you're good to go. Next, click on Comfy Workflow at the top. This is where you'll manage your workflows. Drag and drop the workflow file you downloaded earlier. Make sure it matches the model you're using, e.g. 720p for image to video. You'll see a new workflow with various nodes and parameters. Don't worry, it's simpler than it looks. The two middle boxes are for positive and negative prompts. They're color-coded. At the top, you can switch your base model. And on the left, you can switch the clip model. For best results, we recommend using FP16. On the bottom left, you'll see a node for uploading an image. This is where you'll add the image you want to convert to video. To the right of that, you'll find the video settings. The first two options are for width and height. Leave these at their defaults. The length setting determines the video duration. According to the official documentation, 17 equals one second, 33 equals two seconds, 49 equals three seconds, 65 equals four seconds, 81 equals five seconds. You can go beyond 81, but the quality will drop significantly, so we recommend staying under that. Once you've set everything up, paste your prompt into the positive prompt box. If you're not sure what to write, you can use tools like DeepSeek or ChatGPT to generate one for you. Finally, click Q to start the generation process. The time it takes will depend on your system's performance. On a 4090 GPU, a 3 second 720p video takes about 500 seconds, just under 10 minutes. If your system isn't as powerful, we recommend using the 480p model instead. When you're happy with the result, click the small eye icon to preview the video, then right click and select Save Video A's to download it. Troubleshooting common issues. Now let's address some common problems from the last video. Issue one, backend error. Swarm UI might have updated, rendering old versions unusable. Try clicking update windows.bat to update it. If the issue persists, reinstall Swarm UI on a different drive and move your model files to the new location before deleting the old files. Issue two, minimum VRAM requirement According to official guidelines, 8GB VRAM is enough for 1.3 billion text-to-video and 480p image-to-video. 720pi videos require at least 16GB VRAM. If your GPU doesn't meet this requirement, processing will be extremely slow. Issue 3. Clip Component Error This usually occurs if the clip file was corrupted during download. Redownload it and replace the old file. Also, ensure you're using the correct workflow e.g. using the 720p workflow with a 480p model will cause errors. Issue 4. Exporting MP4 videos. To export in MP4 format, double-click an empty space, type WS, and select the second node. Delete the default output node and replace it with this one. Then, change the format setting at the bottom. Issue 5. Files not detected. If files are in the correct folders but not detected, check their file sizes against the official versions. Corrupt files may cause detection issues. Also, ensure FP8 files are placed in the clip folder. That's it for today's tutorial. If you encounter any issues, drop a comment below or visit the AI Pure website for expert support. Let us know which AI tools you'd like us to cover next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you next time.